Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about how to trade oil futures, gasoline futures, and also the related ETFs. And I'm going to cover a few different ways to trade oil related products. I'm going to talk about trading the ETFs, talk about selling puts, and I will also talk about trading calls and even I'll throw in trading futures. And you can do all this for as little as under a thousand dollars so it is beginner friendly let's dive in first i'm going to talk about a few of the symbols i'm going to start here with the uso etf that's us uso etf that's united states oil fund now it is the easiest to get started with it is just an etf that tracks a bunch of futures inside the ETF. ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. If you want to buy it, you simply buy as little as one share, sometimes even less in a fractional. You can buy as many as you want. And as it goes up, you, in theory, make money. If it goes down, you can lose money. The other thing you can do is bet that it will go down. That's called going short. If you catch a high price, and you go short it's like a negative position you're betting that the market will go down and if it goes down you close it you're essentially borrowing sh uh, shares you're borrowing short shares and then promising to buy it back and keep the difference later or owe the difference in addition to uso another etf that would be worth noting is uga uga is the gasoline fund it trades very similar to uso as you can see and you can do the same thing you can place long upward bets and you can place bearish bearish short bets using the uga etf now i'm switching over to the futures contracts futures contracts are trades you can enter with a counterparty betting on the future price of crude oil and there are different months you can trade it's a little more advanced and complicated typically it's more for day trading or short-term trading but there are some small contracts that make it an attractive vehicle to increase your buying power i'm showing now the mcl contract which is the micro futures contract one broker that I work with makes this available for as little as $680 and it gives the buyer or seller access to a hundred units so that in this example would be eighty two hundred dollars worth of oil and you get to control that with as little as 680 margin requirement which is like a down payment and as you win or lose, the broker will pay you or, or remove the difference. A little more complicated, but it's another very useful way to trade moves in oil. So now let's get into the trading aspect. As you can see, oil can be very volatile, both to the upside and the downside. And as a trader or investor, that's what we want because that volatility is how we make money. So to make it simple when the market is up we can either bet that it will continue to go up or change directions when the market is down we can bet that it will continue to go down or that it will change directions and you always want to have some kind of a stop loss in mind or a place where you get out if you're wrong to preserve capital especially if you're using something like futures another vehicle for trading crude oil uh, could be options so an option has a built-in stop because you pay a premium up front and in a defined risk trade that's what we call when you buy an option or any any trade where you have a fixed amount you can lose that's a fixed defined spread you pay up front or you define up front how much you can how much you can lose uh, the gain can also be defined or it can be unlimited and let me let me explain what that is if at, at a quote-unquote bottom you buy 
a call option, you might pay 100, 200, or 300 dollars, and it goes up. You can only lose whatever you pay for that option. Another way to trade oil is selling puts. Uh, I will just stick to the basic strategies. When the market is down and we believe the market will go up, we might consider selling a put. Selling a put is where we offer to buy it at a lower price and another trader might pay us for that obligation. It's like selling insurance. We're selling protection to the downside because, hey, we want to buy this market if it goes down. Someone will pay us some money to make us contractually obligated to do that. It's, it's the opposite of buying an option. You're selling an obligation. It's Usually a little more complicated for people to understand this, but once you wrap your mind around it, it's a very useful tool in, in all trading, but that is selling a put or selling a put spread. Okay, now let's talk about the art of guessing which way it will go. And yes, it is very much a guess. There is no sure fire way to, to predict which way the market will go. So the the rule we're always keeping in mind is the trend is your friend. So what is a trend? A trend is highs going higher, higher highs, and higher highs is an uptrend. And then when the lows break down and the lows go lower, well, now we have something else. We have a downtrend. So in this example, I have some notations. If you look before, it made higher highs until it didn't make any more highs and then it started making lower lows. Once it starts making lo lower lows, the, the downtrend is in, in play and you wait till that reverses and then you start putting on bullish trades. So right now, if you look, I am speculating. I have no idea, but I made some notations. There is an uptrend and let's say that's the uptrend, that red arrow. Maybe it keeps going higher or it breaks that trend. So I am speculating because it didn't make a higher high during this period. I'm going to speculate that it breaks down. So I might be looking for bearish trades. And even though I am bearish, I will have some kind of a stop loss or kind of some kind of a spread. So if I am wrong, I don't take too much damage. If I am wrong, then there will be a resumption of the bull trade. And then we will be looking for higher highs. And that's how the game is played. Usually, it can only go two ways, up or down, and you need to have some kind of a rule set, some kind of a discipline for you to engage in the market. Uh, unfortunately, there's no guaranteed way to predict which way it will go, but this is the game that we're playing when we're talking about trading. One more useful tip would be to go to the CME website and you can get the settlements for different futures contracts and you can get some insight. Sometimes the markets will have weaker months priced in like this backwardation where the prices are actually lower in the outward months. Normally we'll have contango where prices are higher month after month but there is a little bit of bearishness priced in in the futures contracts. It might be a little complicated at first, but over time you'll get a feel for it. When when things are good, oil, because it has to be stored, is more expensive in the further months. But when there is some weakness in the economy, it is priced at a discount in the following months. Here's an example of what it would look like to trade crude oil micros. Micros, remember, you only need about $680 to trade these under $1,000. And this is what it would look like. This is what's, it, it, this, this is a matrix or a price ladder and you buy market, sell market. And for this micro contract, it's a, a hundred barrels. So every $1 in oil is a hundred dollars every 10 cents is ten dollars 
So for short-term traders, they're looking for potentially daily income. They may put on their trades, go short, have a take profit, but definitely have a stop. And the beauty of trading futures is that you can automate some of those things. One example would be 100 ticks. That's what they call the small movements, the, the minimum movement. You're going to have some profit taking limit. In this case, maybe 100 ticks and some stop to protect your capital. If you're wrong, in this case, 50 ticks and you can be bullish, put this, make this a buy market and you hit that bu blue button. Or if you're bearish, you would hit the sell market and your orders would be automated. You either win some money or you lose some money. And that's all I have for you now. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'm happy to do a follow-up video with more information as we chat and discuss trading and stocks in general.